This is my 2012 Kubota RTV 500. I'll give you an idea of the handling, just riding through this little trail we cut through the bush. Um, it's rigid, very stiff on the rear axle, but it's a work machine. Uh, the footprint of it is uh, fairly narrow. It would fit on a sidewalk from one edge to the next. But you can see uh, if I go through the mud, like right here, it has no problem in four wheel drive. If I have it in two wheel drive, it, I find that it'll slip a little bit. It'll still make it, but it just takes a little longer. Uh, the steering is uh, rack and pinion, and it's not power, but it's uh, easy, easy to handle. You do need two hands. You can't really palm it if you're going around uh, trees like this. Uh, the fuel is uh, responsive uh, with it being fuel injection. It's very uh, accurate. Now the braking, you don't need to use the brake much because of the hydrostatic transmission. You just ease off the gas pedal and she slows down to a halt. And if it's in four-wheel drive, it'll halt even faster when you let off the fuel. Okay, this 2012 Kubota RTV is quite the little workhorse. It's fuel injection, so of what I understand, it'll start great in the winter. Uh, as long as I've had it, it doesn't take but a half a crank to get it going every time. On the dash, you'll see uh, a couple of cup holders, and in between the cup holders, there's a 12-volt socket with a glove box above it. And if we get in, zoom into the... Uh, console area there we have four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive and you have to stop to to do that shifting and you can uh, select high or low again you have to stop the lever on the left is for lockout uh, differential if you're stuck and you want uh, extra torque on both drives on the back and you use that one uh, Above the steering wheel, we've got a gauge to the left of that uh, cutout, and that's just your temperature because this uh, unit is water cooled. Uh, to the right of that cutout above the steering wheel is the hour meter. And you just can't quite see to the left of the steering wheel, but it has uh, lights, uh, brake lights, and uh, a horn in the center. Uh, the two toggles that are vacant are for probably some add-on things. Uh, I've added a, uh, a winch to the front and that mirror. I like the center overhead mirror as opposed to the ones on the side. That way you don't clip them uh, on the bushes and what have you when you're driving around. It's got a poly roof. I'd like to add a screen on the back just to prevent cargo from coming into the uh, area up front. Uh, it also has a couple of seat belts, two seat belts, and the parking brake is in between the driver and passenger. Now this box on the back is a manual dump. I've already unclamped it here, so there's grab handle on either side. You just lift it. It sort of does a semi uh, tilt, uh, but you can see the engine there. It's a Kubota made engine. It's uh, 18 horsepower gas. Fairly quiet. I'm pretty happy with it so far. It looks easy to service. I am getting near my 500. So I think I'll do the 400 hour service, which I'm not sure if it was done. So just to make sure I'll do that. Uh, 
there at the back you can see the receiver hitch and it's called a semi-rigid independent suspension so semi-independent um, it's very stiff otherwise uh, variable hydrostatic transmission shifts like a dream and you can see the tires are uh, aggressive mud tires the fuel access there uh, under the box and if we move up front uh, you notice the glass windshield has got a uh, a void area underneath of it. Uh, I have a plexi insert for that and I'll put that in in the winter but it's nice to get a breeze through there now. It's got the bush bar on the front and a 3,000 pound winch. Under the winch is the uh, two inch receiver and if you unlatch the hood and lift it up here we got access to the hydraulic brake fluid four-wheel disc brakes. And you can see the back of the dash in there. It's very accessible, easy to work on. You can see the strut mounts at the top. And that's about it. It's, uh, I guess, a middle class of all the Kubotas. There's 400, 500, 900, and 1100s. And they have a new 800 sidekick. So this one's right down the middle. Just a rainbow in the dark